there has to be mutual accountability between the, the government and the citizens. But above all, the government has to be accountable to its people. Within the government, there has to be mutual accountability between the different sections of, of the government, between the executive and parliament, and, and the independent judiciary. La gouvernance au-delà de la corruption doit être appréciée déjà en amont à un niveau très élevé. C'est la capacité des gouvernants, à quel niveau que ce soit, la capacité des gouvernants à bien identifier les problèmes auxquels ils doivent faire face, à bien identifier les politiques économiques, puisque nous parlons d'économie ici, mais cela peut être aussi les politiques sociales et autres, donc les politiques pour adresser ces problèmes identifiés, et surtout, et surtout, la capacité à mettre en œuvre ces politiques-là. It is not true that the public often demand accountability. Often, a lot of popular demands for the governments in many African countries, Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Tanzania, are demands for corruption, as Adam Asimo was saying. The public's pressure on politicians may be how do you loot the state and serve your constituents at home, not necessarily accountability. Two, Accountability and transparency are not a technical problem. They are a political issue. And the resolution of that uh, problem cannot result from the technical engineering of the state by creating an ombudsman, auditor general, public accounts committee, and all these other overseas institutions. If you look at the country like Rwanda, for example, this country has very low levels of corruption. Why? The ruling elite in this country, for reasons I cannot go into, see their legit they seek political legitimacy through service delivery and effective corruption. That is how the system works and is able to reproduce itself. The generalization made by the data line should be withdrawn. There is no way corruption can be a foundation of a political system. And Nigerians of high integrity will take the top of things what he has just said. We have worked so hard to eliminate corruption from the political system and the effort is still continuing. For him to stand here and say that corruption is a foundation on which the political system is founded is completely irresponsible, I would say. And I want him to be very really steady in place. This gentleman made a general statement the coalitions that you make in, in, in some of our countries, in many of our countries, do lead to, to, to corruption because we have to, to pay something. Uh, and he mentioned Nigeria, not as a, as a, as a, special, as a special case. Uh, I, I don't think he made an allegation against Nigeria. He made an allegation about our political systems, which may or may not be valid. Uh, I, I don't think...